Hey, happy Friday, everyone. Welcome, and thank you for joining me again on Friday. Excited. Today, I have Norm Janice with us from New York Life, and we're going to talk about long-term care, why it's important, and different kinds of long-term care, and things that I bet not of us, uh, not all of us know about. So welcome, Norm. Betsy, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. It's exciting. It should be some fun. Yes, so, absolutely. So, you know, I, when we were talking, we talked about a strategy, and that's a great way. Talk to us about what people need, why it's important. and Well, I, I think it's important, <laughs> important for people to understand what long-term care is. Long-term care is a reaction to an event, a life-changing event. So to understand to understand that, it's what plan do you have in place? What written plan do you have for your family that details how you want to be cared for if you need the care? Um, where do you want that care to be? Who do you want that caregiver to be? And, and have you notified that person that you want them to be a caregiver? And, and understanding what a caregiver is, the stress on a person, emotionally, financially, physically is, is taxing. So understand it. And then if you have an event, how are you going to pay for it? And this is, this is what needs to be understood. The cost of care today is anywhere from three to $10,000 a month per month. So yeah. what I tell my clients is without a plan in place, your plan right now is to write that check every month. And right. that's really a terrible plan. So your options are, is, is either to have a long-term care plan it's uh, liquidate all your assets or it's go start a GoFundMe page. Um, and that three to 10,000, you may need additional care in a facility just because you're paying like say eight or 10,000 a month doesn't mean you have round the clock care in there. Exactly. So exactly. it is an unbelievable cost that could it, it, it really is, out. and it, it's going higher. You can bet the ranch on it. Um, you know, and I, I talked to my clients, look, so this is what the care, cost of care costs. Let's put a plan in place of something that's affordable to you. Taking some of the risk off the table is better than nothing. Right. So you need some sort of plan in place. And I'll tell you, and, and th there's three things that work against you in my business. Father time, your health, and my products just never go on sale. So right. to sit there and wait and wait for, for what? It's going to backfire. I see this every single day where now someone's health has changed and a life-changing event just doesn't come with a two-week notice. <laughs> That's so, right. And in a place. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we have the same theme running through the entire senior care community begging people not to wait too long, whether it's buying long-term health, getting an in-home caretaker, selling the home, whatever it is, I totally agree with you. So I know there's different kinds of plans and obviously there's probably hundreds of different combinations, but maybe you could talk to us about a just a couple of your favorites. Sure, sure. sure. And, it, and, and what the plan itself is not always about the cost, it's what's the features and benefits. Right. So the three most popular plans are regular long-term care. It's like health insurance. It's ongoing premium payments. Um, it's the most bang for your buck, so to speak. It's a monthly premium that controls a pool of long-term care money that will grow into the future. Um, that's usually the most affordable for people because now you can structure it around a budget um, and we can work it according to that. How big of a benefit do you want? How comprehensive do you want it? What features, what bells and whistles should we put on the plan? So we customize it. A second way is life insurance. Permanent life insurance, whether it's cash value or non-cash value, has chronic care riders. So what that means is that if you have a life-changing event, you can accelerate the death benefit for long-term care. So because the IRS says that death benefits are tax-free, so is the benefit for long-term care because all you're really doing is accelerating the death benefit. So, so what does that mean, Norm, accelerating the death benefit? Tell so us. Example, in so if we, let's say you have a half a million dollar policy okay. and you have a 2% rider, you can get into 2% of 500,000 for your, for your benefit for long-term care. And you generally, it exhausts itself in a little over four years. But the key is for the life insurance, you really need to have a need for life insurance. 
because the bulk of the cost is in the life insurance. The long-term care rider comes along with it. It's not an uh, extensive expense for it because the life insurance company knows two things are for sure. Either one, you're going to have a long-term care event, or two, you're going to pass away. So they're going to pay out that benefit either way. So they don't charge a tremendous amount for that rider, but you need to have a life insurance need because, again, the cost is in the life insurance. The and does that cost... One, does that cost more? Sorry to interrupt you. Does no. that cost more than a just a long term care policy in it does general? You're, you're, paying, you're paying for life insurance. Okay. So okay. if you have a half a million dollar policy, if you never need long term care, somebody's a beneficiary is going to receive a half a million dollars. Okay. The standalone long term care is not a cash benefit. Now okay. there's there's return to premium riders where where the beneficiaries can receive unused premiums back. But it's, it's really not a cash benefit. The third way, it's actually a very interesting product. And it's very popular with baby boomers. And they're called hybrid products. So a hybrid is, it could be a single pay, one-time payment. It can be, depending on the company, five pays, 10 pay, 15 pay, or pay to 65. So now your contract at that period of time is contractually paid off. Inside that policy, there is a death benefit. It's not a large one. It's generally a little more than what you've put in. So it's not built on a life insurance chassis, but there is a death benefit that does go back to beneficiaries, which is a concern for a lot of people. What if I never need it? Here you go. Your beneficiaries get your money back. There is a long-term care pool of money that's going to compound. It's going to grow if you should need it. And the neat thing about these products is if you change your mind, it's return a premium. Insurance companies say, write your check for your money back. So it's like taking money from your left pocket and putting it in your right pocket. You never so lose it. What are those? Can you give me a ballpark of what those cost? That's an sure. interesting product. It's an interesting product for someone, let's say, has money sitting in CDs yeah. or sitting in cash. It's money they're really not going to use. It's there, but they're really not using it for anything. It's idle money. So, for example, say a client has 100000 sitting in, in money market and cash. It's not earning anything. It's not doing anything. They really don't need it. So mm -hmm. they'll single pay into a hybrid product. It will control a death benefit of, depending on your age, let's call it 120000 And as a long-term care pool of money, the leverage is generally, depending on your age, somewhere of four to six times your deposit. That will grow into the future for, for long-term care. If you change your mind, the company, the insurance company will write you a check for $100,000 back. Really? Yeah. That's that's really something. Sorry, my phone rang. And <laughs> no, that's okay. I, I, Turning that off. <laughs> now, some guys will say, well, Norm, I don't have $100,000, but I can do $20,000 a year for five years. We can do that too. Or $10,000 a year for 10 years. It doesn't have to be $100,000, but that's the example we're using. And then tell me again, how much of that maybe could be used for long-term care? If you for, put in the well, The leverage is generally, depending on the age of the client, Yeah. four to six times leverage. So you can't do that on your own. I don't care how good you think you are at, at making money and trading. You cannot leverage money the way insurance company can. So again, explain this for the dummy. Yeah. Um, you put in a hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, I put in a hundred thousand. I get sick. I need care. Mm -hmm. I got to go into one of these really nice places for 10,000 a month. Right. What is my hundred thousand? What's it going to pay out? It depends on your age. Okay. I mean, and, and when you need the care. So the longer this product is able to compound and grow, okay. the bigger monthly benefit you will have. Generally, the hybrid products the, they run generally, but for about a six-year benefit. That's their sweet spot. Okay. Well, six years is pretty good. really it's people say, "Well, I don't know if I need more." Well, the odds are you're not going to. Right. If you're needing that care, you're not going to need it for more than six years. You're well, right. Dementia, Alzheimer's, yes, maybe. But generally, yeah. the extended care, long-term care event is, is not six years. But the hybrids generally run the best on a six-year benefit. And that's, that's enough. That's plenty. So that's you know, a Let's great. say your monthly benefit is, let's say it's uh, you're you're entitled to 10000 a month. You don't have to take all 10. If you If your costs are six... The rest stays in the pool and continues to grow. And continues to grow and you could use it later. Absolutely. Okay. 
That is great. That is a really, really interesting product. People should, um, well, you know, I, I find it interesting and, you know, maybe talk to their broker, their, the person that may handles their money about that product because, um, well, and is there a tax, is there some tax benefit to that or when you, well, put, when you buy that? If you are a business owner, um, standalone, regular long-term care premiums can be deducted from the business. Okay. It is a tax deduction to the business. The recipient or the insured, the benefit is tax-free. It also okay. applies to your spouse, family okay. members. Um, you can also carve out for key executives with long-term care. So long-term care is a, is a, one of the few benefits you can discriminate. You know, if you have okay. employees, you do not have to offer it to everybody. You carve out a niche like okay. executives. You carve out a niche. Yeah. So you want to, if you want to reward a keep employee, the business can pay for long-term care for that employee. Okay, that's a good. That's a that's yeah. a cool thing. That's an idea. Yeah. Business Especially now like when everybody's yeah. yeah, everybody's having trouble finding really good people. That's a little benefit, a big sure. benefit. Um, that's great because especially if they can get in when they're younger, then they own the policy. So even if they don't, I mean, I don't know what would happen to it if they leave the company, but they would take it as portable. And okay, then they would just pick up the premiums. Yeah, but then you get in when you're younger. You know, maybe the company, uh, you know, starting you out, and then you have it as opposed to, because I know a lot of people that are just too old to buy it now. Well, it's, it's not so much age. I don't hold these people up. It's, it's your health. And interesting, you talk about younger. It's interesting because now younger folks are buying long-term care, especially younger people are seeing it with their parents. That's why. And you, you get, we're getting people in their 30s now buying long-term care. Why? You're never younger and healthier than you are today. Right. And the cost of insurance is, is inexpensive at that age. And they're doing hybrid products where they can pay it up in you know, 10, 15 years or pay to 865 at mm -hmm. minimum cost. That's a great idea. That's a great idea for our kids. And yep. uh, yeah, because our, like my grandparents didn't live that long. You know, they got sick and they died. Now people are living much, much, much longer lives. Um, forget COVID. But, you know, it, it, medical care is, is letting them live longer. Right. So costs money. Right. And you know so. what? Long term care doesn't mean age 80. And it doesn't mean permanence. Yeah. So the misconception is people have a, a, a image in their head of long-term care and you're in a nursing facility. 80 to 85% of long-term care takes place in the home where people want right. to be anyways. Right. So, and it doesn't have to be permanent. You could have a, a, a hip replacement and right. you're, you're going to trigger the benefit. You're going to recover from it. Right. And you, but you're going to need care for a while. Long-term care will pay for that. Right. At any, at any age. Right. Uh, right. It yeah. It doesn't mean age 80. It could mean age 50, 60. Right. I mean, my, my mother used her long-term care. She used it. She didn't use it. She used it. She didn't use it. And that was it. So it's getting harder to get. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's yeah. not easy. No, so I would suggest people look, if you're thinking about it, why are you thinking about it? Let's put it to the front burner. So it's in my business, people would rather buy, Buying a sofa is more important than putting long-term care into place. And they think, well, I'm never going to need it. Well, is your house going to burn down? Probably not. But you have homeowner's insurance, don't you? Right. right? I mean, the that's thing the thing. Need. The thing about insurance is you may never use it. But if you don't have it, you will wish you had. Yeah. So, um, you know, we should all take the heed that advice because – you want to protect yourself, you know, you know, the same way you have auto insurance. You don't want to think that you're going to get into a car accident. You have health insurance. You right. don't want to think that you're going to end up with a major health issue. You're absolutely right. And people say, well, I can't afford it. That's the objective. I can't afford it. What you can't afford is if you need it. And now you're dishing out 10,000 a month. That's what you can't afford. Right. Because the alternative is not going to be pretty. Which you is a, no, you have your know, example, you have a husband and a wife, or it could be two significant others, and you saved all your life to live a certain lifestyle. And let's just say one person has an event. What happens to the lifestyle of the other person? 
Right. And now you're shelling out all your assets to pay for care. What happens to their lifestyle? It goes away. Right. It right. That goes away. That is absolutely right. And something that we all should keep in mind and something that we all should, we should all call Norm and get <laughs> set up. That's so it. I want to thank you, Norm, for joining me today. This was great information. I love this third product that nobody knew. Well, I didn't know about it. So, um, yeah, anybody that wants to reach out to Norm, I've got his information here on face, uh, face, Facebook. But you can reach out to me, and I, I will get you Norm's information, too. So um, thank you. Thank you again for uh, being here. Betsy, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Great.